most mainstream religions, Judaism, much of Christianity, Islam, Buddhism, Hinduism, don't have problems with concepts of evolution. Evolution and faith are entirely compatible in my perspective. I know of no real discordance between their perspectives. They look at different questions. Different domains of the world. Science only has to do with the natural world. Religion, of course, has to do with a belief in the origins of everything that we have, in the questions of the deep meaning of life. But they're actually quite complementary. And for me as a believer, I find both of them incredibly important and powerful in my daily life. Surveys would tell you that 40% of scientists today uh, believe in a God who answers prayer. But it would probably be a good thing if scientists like myself who are believers would explain why from our perspective we find no difficulty putting these two views together and also why intelligent design was not the way to do it and it will make faith look foolish and that will be a terrible tragedy. I'm the daughter of a minister. I grew up in a faith-based household. I have no trouble combining my science with my religion. I go to church every Sunday. Um, I'm a Sunday school teacher. I believe in God. I'm a Christian. I um, believe that um, God created the world, but I think he did it through evolution. There's no, you know, he's not any less powerful to me that it happened naturally. Um, I'm a scientist and I look for those natural causes. I believe that science is the way to understand the natural world and that faith is the way to understand questions that science can't answer, like why are we all here and why does it matter and is there a God and does he care about me? One of the great tragedies of the intelligent design furor is the impression that many people are receiving that you've got to be in one camp or the other. That if you accept evolution as the way in which living things are related to each other, you are therefore saying there is no God. That is a terribly unfortunate and un unnecessary position to put people in, especially young people. I've never had a problem with seeing how God's hand works in nature. Well, almost by definition, intelligent design is not science. It's not testable. Uh, it invokes supernatural explanations. And by definition, this is not how science works. Intelligent design is a very specific proposal uh, put forward about 15 years ago, originally by Philip Johnson in a book called Darwin on Trial. Intelligent design proposes that certain structures inside cells are so irreducibly complex that evolution never could have produced them. Evolution is such an incredibly well-supported way of understanding everything in biology that it is not going to disappear. It is here to stay. Darwin was right. Intelligent design, on the other hand, proposes that the evolution theory has shortcomings, that there are gaps in it. And then to attribute those gaps to tearing down that theory of evolution and from there, they would attribute then what couldn't be explained by evolution as um, God must have created it. Agnosticism, atheism, creationism, intelligent design, theistic evolutionism, all of those ought to be worthy of discussion. I think a young person is interested in those things and ought to have a chance to hear about them, but not in science class. I think it's a gimmick to pit science against religion, a way in which to diminish the credibility of science or to imply that religion has some kind of scientific content that it actually doesn't have. It's time to put the battles to rest, abandon the battlements, let's get back together in the middle ground that people have almost forgotten is there and celebrate science and celebrate faith.